sea stars, urchins, and sea cucumbers all belong to a group called the echinoderm. Their name literally means spiky skin. These long venomous spines all over your body are great for protection. But how are you going to reproduce when you meet that special someone? Well, like many other ocean animals, it's done at a distance and it's not necessarily contained to just that special someone. Echinoderms engage in a reproductive dance called spawning. A few times each year, after the full moon, these usually calm and seemingly immobile critters start showing off some unusual moves. They find the highest pedestal, stretch up like they're reaching for the stars, and then BAM! They let loose a storm of reproductive cells into the water. This results in a cloud of life to be, getting fertilized in the open and then floating around as teeny planktonic larvae. Weird? Maybe. But this strategy has been a winner for hundreds of millions of years. The mass spawning events and the dispersal of the larvae lead to high genetic diversity among these species. And when it comes to the long-term survival of both species and ecosystems, diversity is king.